Here we will see a very interesting and important question from the chapter mathematical induction. Here question is prove by the principle of mathematical induction for all n belonging to the set of natural number capital N 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube up to n into 3 to the power n is equal to 2n minus 1 into 3 to the power n plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. So, in left hand side you see here total number of terms is n. This is first, second, third up to nth. Total number of terms is n and this is right hand side. So, here we have to establish, we have to prove that LHS is equal to RHS. Means, we have to show that this given statement is true. Okay? So, let us see the solution here. Here given statement is this one and mathematical statement is denoted by the notation P n. So, here P n is 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube up to n into 3 to the power n. This is equal to 2 n minus 1 into 3 to the power n plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. Correct? Let us call it relation number 1. Here we will be using the method which is known as principle of mathematical induction. So, in this method we have to take three steps. First step we have to show that P1 is true. P1 we will get by putting n is equal to 1 here. So, we will have to show that P1 is true. Second step we have to assume that P r is true. We will get P r by putting n is equal to r here. Second step we have to assume P r is true. And third and last step we have to show that P r plus 1 is true. Okay? So, first step is to show that P 1 is true. To show that P 1 is true. And how we will get P 1? By putting n is equal to 1 relation number 1. So, therefore, putting n is equal to 1 in relation number 1. Correct? So, by this relation here P 1 is putting n is equal to 1 here. So, this is 1 into 3 first term. We have to take only one term. We have to take only first term here. Is not it? because total number of terms is n. So, if you are taking n is equal to 1, we have to take only one term here in left hand side. So, 1 into 3 is equal to right in right hand side put n is equal to 1 here. So, 2 into 1 minus 1 whole to the power 3 to the power 1 plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. So, we have to here show that this is correct, this is true, means LHS is equal to RHS or let us simplify it or 1 into 3 is 3 and right hand side is 2 minus 1 that is 1, 3 is square that is 9, 9 plus 3 is 12. So, this is 12 by 4 means this is 3 or 3 is equal to 3 which is true which is true means LHS is equal to RHS. Therefore, P 1 is true. Now, second step we have to assume that P r is true. Second step to assume that P r is true and we will get P r by putting n is equal to r in relation number 1. So, here p r is total number of terms will be r here in p r. So, 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 square plus 3 into 3 cube plus r into 3 to the power r is equal to 2 r minus 1 into 3 to the power r plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. Let us call it relation number 
2. So, we are assuming that this expression is holding good, this is true. And now we have to show that P r plus 1 is true to show that P r plus 1 is true. And how we will get P r plus 1? You know by putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1. So, putting n is equal to r plus 1 in relation number 1, correct? So, we will be getting here p r plus 1 is here total number of terms will be r plus 1. So, 1 into 3 plus 2 into 3 is square plus 3 into 3 cube sorry 3 is square plus rth term is r into 3 to the power r and we have to put n is equal to r plus 1. So, r plus 1th term is r plus 1 into 3 to the power r plus 1 and in right hand side we are getting 2 in place of r we have to put r plus 1 in place of n here we have to put r plus 1. So, 2 r plus 1 minus 1 okay? multiplied with 3 to the power r plus 1 and plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4. Here right hand side is becoming 2 r plus 2 minus 1. So, this is 2 r plus 1 into 3 to the power r plus 2 and plus 3 divided by 4. Okay. So, here we have to prove LHS and RHS both are equal, LHS is equal to RHS. So, let us start with LHS here and in LHS you see up to this much part by using relation number 2, by using relation number 2 for this much part we can write this value. You see here LHS is up to this part. So, up to this part we have to write this value. So, LHS is 2 r minus 1 into 3 to the power r plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4 up to this part for this portion and plus next term is r plus 1 into 3 to the power r plus 1. Let us simplify it. Okay? So, by taking LCM here, LCM will be 4 and here we are getting 2 r minus 1 into 3 to the power r plus 1 plus 3 and LCM is 4. So, 4 times of this much plus 4 times of r plus 1 into 2, 3 to the power r plus 1. Let us simplify it and we will try to bring this much is equal to this one RHS. So, then LHS will be equal to RHS. Okay? So, we have to simplify it further. So, you see from first and last term we can take 3 into r plus 1 common. So, 3 to the power r plus 1 is common from first and last term. So, from first term after taking 3 to the power r plus 1 remaining part is 2 r minus 1 here, 2 r minus 1. And from third term when you will take 3 to the power r plus 1 is common remaining part is 4 r plus 4, 4 into r plus 1 that is 4 r plus 4. So, this is plus 4 r plus 4 and uh, divided by 4 okay? and uh, this is equal to 3 to the power r plus 1 into simplify it 2 r plus 4 r is 6 r and 4 minus 1 is 3 divided by 4 correct and last step now we are coming to the conclusion here. Here we can take 3 common from here. So, this is 3 to the power r plus 1 into 3 is common from here and we are writing here this is 2 r plus 1 
divided by 4 and this is equal to 3 into 3 r plus 1. So, this power 1 will be added by 1. So, this becomes 3 to the power r plus 2 and in bracket 2 r plus 1. Okay. We are let us see we are missing something here plus 3 is also here you see this is plus 3. So, plus 3 is missing let us write it plus 3 here also plus 3. So, 3 to the power r plus 2 multiplying with 3 and 3 r plus 1 we are getting 3 to the power r plus 2 into in bracket 2 r plus 1 plus 3 divided by 4 correct and this is nothing but 2 r plus 1 into 3 to the power r plus 2 3 r plus 2 and this plus 3 divided by 4 and you see this is equal to this right hand side this is right hand side. So, we are getting here left hand side is equal to right hand side. So, we are proving that P r plus 1 is true. Therefore, P r plus 1 is true. So, our this solution is over here fine that has been completed and at the last you write one line statement. Therefore, by the principle of mathematical induction by the principle of mathematical induction p n is true p n is true for all n. So, it has been now proved we got the result. So, by principle of mathematical induction we are proving here that this given statement is true that is all about the solution. So, hope you have understood very well question is very interesting as well as very important and in uh, other videos we will see some more questions. Thank you very much.